it's not just about how technology changes society, right? It's about how society changes technology. And a while ago, we, we discussed a little bit on this podcast, one of the studies I did where we compare a lot of different countries' national cyber securities, which is quite interesting. You know, most modern countries have a, an official strategy, which is a, a document that entails their sort of political ambitions to work with cybersecurity. And I've been working a lot with these strategies and the policymakers who creates them during the past years. And one thing that we learned there, and I was quite curious to find this out, what are these documents? And one thing you learn is that they are, in every sense of the word, sort of a product of society shaping technology. Like these documents, if you look at the American cybersecurity strategy or the Japanese cybersecurity strategy, they're different, not just on technical levels, but they're you can see the political differences in the in the countries by analyzing these strategies. And I think that's quite cool because what that means in practice, and these documents are actually used, right? They, they, they really affect the, um, the cyber climate of the country and the political culture, the society is affecting the way we work with cybersecurity, which is very interesting. I, I briefly, briefly mentioned this before, but for example, we can see that Japan's entire cybersecurity strategy, the way the motivation for them to even create it to some degree was to protect the vulnerable people. Like they really wanted to know that everyone, they, they have the term cybersecurity for all. And that's that's what cybersecurity is for them to, to some degree. It's, it's a big question, but you can say that. And if you look, for example, in the US, we have an enormous protection of critical infrastructure, of large businesses, almost no mention about elderly and vulnerable populations. And that doesn't come from technical limitations, right? That comes from just sort of political strategies and they, they come from something else that affect cybersecurity. I think this is incredibly interesting because when you look into these things, as you said before too, cybersecurity research, of course, it, it, it's the backbone of this money and grants.